This is a real quick unboxing video of the free accessories I got when I pre-ordered my Galaxy S22 Ultra directly from Samsung.com. I was a little late to the pre-order, so I think I only got like one of the SVU cases and some Galaxy Buds Pro, and it's a white SVU cover. It was the only one left. But it's better than nothing, and it's free directly from Samsung. Here's the packing slip. Here's the order. There are my Galaxy Buds Pro and my white SVU flip cover. I believe how these work is there's a magnet in it or something, a little chip, where it can sense it's an SVU cover. And that's how it has the option to see your time up there in the corner. And then of course when you flip it around, you are able to use the camera lenses. So first thing, let's get the Galaxy Buds Pro open first. Two-way speakers for rich sound, active noise canceling, 5 to 18 hours of playtime, IPX7 water resistance, and of course the reproductive harm warning, which is kind of spooky. And here we go. There they are. Look at that. Samsung Sound by AKG. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little blurry. Real sleek and nice looking. I assume this is the charging cable. Sure is. USB type C of course. Plugs right in the bottom there. There's also something else right here. I believe these are the little rubber earbud replacements or to switch them out, bigger or smaller little rubber earbud pieces. That's awesome. And it was free with the pre-order of my Galaxy S22 Ultra. And I did that unboxing video here on this channel. So if you missed it, it's there for you to go watch. I know the camera keeps going out of focus. But that's all right. Now the white S view cover, I of course wanted black because this is going to get dirty fast, but it was a free gift from Samsung for placing the pre-order. So you can't complain too much. So let's take a closer look at this. It does look very nice and sleek. And I think it contrasts my red S22 Ultra pretty well. This is all just a form of packaging here, some cardboard. Yeah, look at that. So that is really cool, actually. It's a hard plastic on the front and back, but this hinge is just kind of like, feels like a rubber or a silicone. And you can see how it lines up with the camera lenses. So you can just flip it back and use your phone like normal. And this is how it looks, that little hinge there to get your camera lenses lined up. So I could see you know, you could end up with it misaligned very easily. Looks like this case could be cumbersome. However, it was free. So of course it's going to be the daily driver case I'm going to keep on the S22 Ultra. Booklet here, get started guide. Shows you how to place the phone in there. And just like anything else, we've got all the different languages and it's pretty much the size of a newspaper but it's always good to have to read. It uses NFC to sense that it has an S view case on there. And it says it's recommended to remove the product before using the wireless power share features. So maybe that interferes with power sharing. And then it says, when you are wirelessly charging your mobile device with the Samsung wireless charger convertible, and this product is attached, we recommend you use the charger in pad mode. That I believe was one of the other free gifts I missed out on because I was a little too late on the pre-order, otherwise I would have one of those as well. Antimicrobial property is applied as a coating to protect the product. It does not completely protect users against bacteria. So let's get the S22 Ultra into this SVU case and take a look at it. Some common sense precautions, you want your S Pen completely put away inside of the phone. And these images here, I can't really tell what they're saying to do and don't do. 
I'm assuming you want to kind of guide it into the yes view case. I'm not really sure, but obviously you just want to kind of be careful, right? So here I've got my Galaxy S22 Ultra and I've removed the back film coating, but I still have my manufacturer film coating on the front for now. Some extra protection. So it is kind of like a harder silicone, but it stretches on the outside to fit the phone in. And the buttons line up very nicely here on the side, and then it folds over just like this. There's the camera lenses on the back, so if you flip it around while you're using it, you're still able to use the lenses. It looks like that's already gonna be cumbersome to play with every time you're gonna use it. You gotta line up the back of that. But again, it was a free S-View cover. So let me boot this phone up. It looks like this could be the other NFC chip so that it can sense when it's open or closed. I don't think there's one in the back. It must be the front. I'm not sure, this is stuff I'm interested in because a lot of reviews of older S-View cases don't talk about this stuff. But while that's booting up, you can still see access to the charging port, access to the S-Pen down here. buttons feel great through the S-View case. I believe that's the top microphone. And there's the bottom speaker. Let's uh, close this and see. Wow, that's really cool. If we just press the button once, check the time. 650, it can easily close it and reopen it. And then if I open the case, it opens the phone. That's really cool. I like that concept. See, I don't know much about the S cover or the settings. Maybe there is a way to check your notifications and stuff right here as well. That's something I would have to play with. All right, so I did some digging and I was able to find cover screen settings and it looks like we can turn on automatic unlock. It says open the cover to unlock the phone. This feature only works if you're not using a, a secure screen lock type, which I have a pin. And I'm not interested in that either because anybody you could just pick this up and open it and go oh look at that anyway the only other setting here is to change your clock style so you can add different stuff here for the clock style let me choose this one it looks like with a, a walking monkey on it oh there's other animals to play with that's really cool a little bunny is that a, is that a lamb or you can just shuffle all the characters there it is so it must shuffle every time you turn it back on. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. The other thing you can do, I did figure out, is swipe left to view your music. And it says open to continue. So this is pretty cool so far. It's different, not what I'm used to. It's a bunch of other little random stuff in here. It's missing a mushroom here. It's got all these other vegetables and stuff. I, I don't know what that is. Is that a potato or a turd? Yeah, I think I think I like that one. But there was another option I just saw. If you go under clock style, looks like you can change the clock background image. I believe that's about the extent of customizing the S View screen. And that's kind of fun to add random animated animals and vegetables. Let's see this one. Different shapes and colors on there for no reason. Pretty cool. I like that. It's a little different. Although it looks like I was getting the most real estate with the original one right here or this other plain one right here. So I'm going to stick with just very simple, very plain S-View time. So that is an unboxing of the S-View cover, playing with it a little bit. The Galaxy Buds Pro, very cool to get these free when you buy the S22 Ultra direct from Samsung. And I was a little late on the pre-order, but that is some cool stuff. Again, if you missed the quick unboxing and boot up of the S22 Ultra direct from Samsung Unlocked, that video is on this channel. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to see this in future videos about mobile gaming here on Gaming Logistics.